To optimize content using outranking, either click on Go to Editor or the Optimization icon on the left side panel. You can either paste the content directly into the editor or you can use import from URL utility to import the content from that URL into the editor. On the left panel, you will find SEO details. Outranking performs an extremely detailed on-page analysis using competitor data. The on-page audit is divided into title, description, outline, content, media, and links. The first is title. Title is further divided into words to target in the title. These are the common terms used in the titles of the ranking pages. Target the primary keyword and any other relevant terms mentioned in this section. You should at least target the typical range of keywords given from this list. The next is search terms in the title. These are the semantic terms targeted by the ranking pages. Add as many search terms as possible and stay between the typical range suggested. In this example, it is between 1 and 16. Targeting these terms in the title can help you rank for those semantic terms as well. The next is length of title. These are the top five ranking page titles along with their lengths. The length of the title is usually under 60 characters. Staying within the typical range is suggested, which is 60. Sometimes the keyword queries are extremely long tailed and staying under 60 is difficult. In that case, typical range greatly helps you craft your title. The next is meta description. Description is divided into two sections. The first is words to target in the description. These are the common terms used in the description of the ranking pages. Include all the relevant terms and target the maximum of the typical range suggested, which is one to three. So you should aim for aim to target at least three terms from the given list. The second is description length in characters. These are the top five ranking page descriptions along with their lengths. Include all the relevant terms and target the maximum of typical range suggested. Some CMSs allow you to add more than 160, 160 characters. The ideal length for meta description is 160 characters. The next is outlines. The audit of your outline is divided into three sections. Words to target in the outline, number of H tags or headings, search terms in the H tags. These are the common terms used in the headings of the ranking pages. Include all the keywords suggested in this section and target the maximum in the typical range suggested, which is two to seven for this example. Next is number of H tags. You should aim to target the maximum in the typical range suggested. The last subsection is search terms in H tag. Using search terms in H tag can greatly improve the probability of ranking for some semantic terms. These are the possible semantic terms you can rank for. Target as many semantic terms as possible from this section and target the higher end of the typical range. The next audit factor is your content. 
Content optimization is divided into word count, common entities, unique entities, statistics, tables, and list items. Below are the word counts of the top five ranking pages. Target the higher end of the typical range, exceeding the maximum in the typical range is suggested. The average word count is 2,938 for this example. You should aim to target more than 3823 in terms of the word count. Next is common entities. These are the NLP terms or entities used by the ranking pages. Gray suggests its most important keyword, which means the keyword is used in all the pages that we analyzed. The yellow shows opportunities, which means more than one page used this keyword, but it was not present in all the pages. The second column shows the amount of times you have used this keyword in your content. The last column shows the typical range of usage for this particular keyword from the ranking pages. To see how the ranking pages are mentioning this keyword, click on the search icon. If you click on the keyword, you will be able to locate the places in your content where this keyword has been used. After entity, common entities, the next is unique entities. Every content in the ranking pages needs to be unique yet familiar. After analyzing the ranking pages, OutRanking found that a typical range of unique entities included by each of these pages is between 4 and 38. You should aim for higher than 38 in unique entities, hence targeting the maximum in the typical range. Below are the unique entities used in your content. Target the maximum number of unique entities. Next is statistics. These are the examples of data items mentioned in ranking pages. Target the maximum number of statistical information. Going over the typical range is suggested. Hence, for this example, we recommend going over the 17 and including as many statistical and factual numbers and st data items that you can mention in your content. The next is tables. This suggests an opportunity, which means none of the ranking pages are using tables. Hence, it's an opportunity. Having a rich HTML structure for your blog can show that you put efforts into creating the content. The next is list items. A typical page is using four to 10 list items, which is order and unordered list. Your consumption is 11 so far. These are the examples of list items used in the ranking pages. Target the maximum number of list items. Going over the typical range is suggested. Next up, we have media. Media consists of images, they're all text, and videos. A typical usage of images on ranking pages is between 11 and 27. You should aim to stay between this typical range. Next up is all text. All text Next up is all text. The ranking pages have typically three to seven all texts in common. You have nine which are overlapping. If you expand the section, you will find the common terms in the all text of ranking pages. Target as many common all text terms as possible in the images. Going over, the typical range is suggested. The last section is videos. 
Videos is an opportunity. Having video in your content suggests that you have performed your research or you have created a unique asset that can provide additional value to the users. Videos can also improve on-page time. Having videos in your content can increase the probability of ranking your content. The last item on the audit checklist is links. Links is divided into citations, which is external links. The typical range of usage of citations in, rank in ranking pages is between four and nine. You currently have 27 citations in your content. You should at the least include all the common citations. If you click and expand the section, you will see if there's any citations which are common in these pages. For this example, we could not find any common citations. Next is internal links. Next is internal links. To generate the suggestions for internal links, add your sitemap URL into the box and click on generate suggestions. Generating suggestions can take a few seconds. Once the suggestions load, you will see two subsections. The first one is links to. These are the suggestions for anchor text and the URLs that you should be linking to, which are in the same silo as your focus keyword. Links from are the links from which you should be getting an internal link for the new content that you are about to publish. The typical range for internal links for this particular example in ranking pages is between 16 and 65. You should stay between the typical range. The last item is anchor text keywords. These are the common terms used in the anchor text of ranking pages. This was the last part of content audit. You can download the audit report by clicking on the doc icon in the top right corner of that panel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.